It's a crowd. I'm telling I'm you. Telling right now, you. It's a good looking crowd here. They don't get much better looking than that. Well, that's true. Well, that's true. That's and they were flashing, you know, titties at Fozzie oh, earlier. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Somebody. I mean, a little bit for that. Oh, well, thank you, son. Thank you. That kind of freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> That's great. I'm too hopped up on sweet tea right now to give a shit, though. That's all got. Are, we on the, are we on the air? No, we're, we're videotaping. Oh, okay. We're videotaping. So we're going to okay, make good. her life good, tougher. Good. She's going to have to edit hey, all you that. you hear that? No, no fucking swearing. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, all you people. Right. <laughs> so you were at Rocklahoma last night. Yeah. Kinda. And what <laughs> happened? You got rained out or something? We got, well, not only did we get rained out, we got tornadoed out, man. Oh. It was gnarly. Yeah. True story. We were in, and it, it was like the sky went from no to hell no <laughs> to holy shit. We went on the bus, and all of a sudden, it felt like it, we we were the house in Wizard of Oz. I mean, the, it was oh going like that. Oh, my God. We were getting hit with hail. I was just like, somebody better figure out how to drive this damn bus. We're getting the hell out of here. Wow, really? Yeah, it was gnarly. So it felt like the bus was going to blow it was over? Like, I felt like Bill Paxton and Twister, like we were going to drive <laughs> through the house. It was getting gnarly. We yeah. miss you. Yeah, right. Well, he's, we got the right yeah, weather yeah, here. Yeah. I mean, this is great. No, I, no, I, I'll take this weather all day, man. So, yeah. yeah it's, we will at least get to play in one of my favorite cities on the planet. I'm telling you. That's what you said on the air just the other day. This is it, man. The home of Vinnie Paul. Absolutely, baby. And Pantera. Hey, and not for nothing, he's here today. So he is. He's, he's floating around. He, you know how he is. He definitely <laughs> is. So what do you like doing better? The big giant... Shows like Rocklahoma, is that harder to do or is it is it more fun to do that? I mean it's it's all it's how you approach it, you know. I know a lot of people who they either prefer the big shows or they prefer the club shows. I love them all, man, because it's it's another opportunity yeah. to get in front of the people, you know? You get out there, you can either, you know, bring it in and sweat on everybody in a club show, which right. I apologize. <laughs> or you get out and you do your, your inner David Lee Roth, your inner Bruce Dickinson. You get out there and you just sing to the back of the crowd and everybody in front of it and just have a good time with it. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. And the new album, Hydrograd, we were yeah. just talking about that the other day. How much of that are you doing in concert now? Tonight we're just doing two songs. Um, but... When we when we come back, when we come back, we're gonna do uh we're gonna do like a bigger set, like a whole big thing, and uh, we got a lot we got a lot planned for that. And, and this is the best Stone Sour album you've ever done. Damn right it is. Yes it is. Hydro grab people comes out on what June thirtieth? Or What's that? When does it come out? June thirtieth. June thirtieth it comes out. Yeah, right. absolutely. Now, now why do you think it's the best album you've ever done? This thing's an ass kicker, man. Like it's got so much great. It's got rock and roll. It's got hard rock. It's got metal. It's got punk. It's got a little bit of country. It's got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's got a little bit of the, everything for everyone, and it puts the goddamn gas down and kicks ass <laughs> on it. That's what it does. Didn't you, like, when you recorded it, wasn't it like you were just doing a live show? Basically, yeah. We recorded it all live, man. We didn't have, we didn't have, a, uh, we didn't have a click. We didn't have a, uh, you know, anything, man. We just went in and we played at each other. We played with each other as a band, you know. Nobody really does that anymore. Yeah. And you can feel it. You can hear it in the, in the energy. You can hear it in the recording. You can hear it in the, in the, I mean, this album's got some ass on it. Let's put it that way. It's, it's badass. Well, why do you think that bands don't do that generally now? I don't know. It's because sometimes it's it's easier to just kind of stripe it out, as they call it, in the studio, and just kind of play it in layers. Yeah. Um, but for me, the best feeling was getting all of us in the same room and having that moment. Like this is going to be awesome when we play it live. You know right. what I'm saying? Like it just felt great. And I encourage more bands to do that because it just feels alive. Am I wrong or am I wrong? God damn. Yeah, totally. I know I'm wrong sometimes, <laughs> no. but not this time. <laughs> and what, what exactly is a Hydrograd? Is that a city in Russia? It doesn't mean shit. <laughs> or Czech Republic? And seriously, uh, you want to hear a funny story? <laughs> yes. So I was running through a, an airport in Eastern Europe. I was late for my flight, and it was one of those, it was, it was an antiquated, well, it was an older airport. And so everything was really old. The info was old. It was on those, like, old-school 80s digital kind of runners, right? Yeah, ticker tape. And I'm like, ah, it's, it's cycling through different languages that I didn't understand. And I'm just like, I got it. I don't know where I'm going. So I ran past this one, and my brain saw Hydrograd. And I went, where the hell is that? And I actually, I stopped. I turned around. It wasn't even close. It didn't even say 
It didn't start with an H. It was just my brain being psycho. And I just went, sure, all right, that's fine, I guess. That's the new album. And it just stuck Ding. with me. It just stuck with me. And I was like, that's a cool name. And there it is. The rest is history. Yeah. Hydrograd, folks. Now, uh, give us an update on what's going on with Slipknot. Slipknot. The, I'm going I'm to bum you out. We ain't doing shit right now. I'm just saying. I mean, we're not, we're not really doing anything right now. Um, I know we're kind of slowly starting to write some music. Um, other than that, we're just kind of taking some time off. Clown's going to direct some movies. Uh, Sid's going to do some stuff. We're all kind of doing our own thing. I am sorry I'm not talking to you. Uh, but that's it. I mean, really, we're just kind of taking, like, the next year is everybody kind of doing their own thing. And then probably after that, we will slowly but surely start to get together to do some Slipknot stuff. You know, we were talking on the phone the other day about uh, Clown being in, involved with film. Yeah. Wanted to do more with that. If you guys haven't seen Officer Down, you need to. It's an amazing film. Clown kicked ass directing that movie. It was really, really good. Don't, don't you all want to see Corey Taylor on the big screen? Yeah. Nobody wants to see no, that. No, we do want to see that. That'd it's be like, cool. well, just a bigger asshole up there. <laughs> Fear Clinic? Now, how awesome was my mustache, though? It's pretty, super creepy. Uh, now, really now the other day, you did a beautiful tribute to Chris Cornell. Yeah. And Thank did you. you ever did you ever tour with him, or did you know him? I got to I, I got to hang out with him a couple times. You know, we weren't friends, but we were acquaintances. And uh, he was just one of the coolest dudes I ever met. Man, he was so he was just you know he was quiet. And then he'd get on stage and he would scream like a lion, man. He was badass. So we miss you very much, Chris. Yeah, totally. Totally. Well, I was thinking that uh, I know you're a big Frank Sinatra fan. <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah. Right? And I was thinking that maybe you could do a little acapella, Frank, you know, for us right for now. Right now? You wanna... Yeah. Like I got the world on a string. <laughs> Come on, Corey. Yeah. You think this is the crowd for Frank Sinatra? <laughs> <laughs> They're all as amazed as I am. <laughs> all right, hold on, hold on. Yeah, okay. Come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. If you could use some exotic booze, there's a bar in Vabam Bay. No? All right. Holy okay. shit! That was amazing! I love it. Let's fly. I'm ready. That's We're going. That's a good one. That's all a right. good one. <laughs> so what's up for you after this show? Where are you going? Oh, I'm what going to doing? bed. <laughs> I'm going. I'm gonna sleep for like three days. Actually, we have uh, we have a handful of days off. I I fly to Japan and Australia to do press. Mm -hmm. I come back and we start the corn tour this oh, summer. Oh yeah! Which we are so stoked about. We we are so stoked to be coming back. To and do you're that, good man. buddies with those guys, aren't I you? I am, man. They're really good friends of mine, and we're uh, we were already talking. Like me and Head, he was texting me the other day. He's like, so what are we uh. What are we gonna do special for the for the shows? And I was like, well, what do you want to do? And he gave me a list of songs that he wanted me to say. I was like, what are you nuts? I gotta play my own damn set. So we have some cool stuff planned for everybody, man. It's now, badass. You probably don't know. Will you be coming back around to DFW on that tour? Do you think? I think so. Yeah. Well, I mean, be oh my god! You heard it here. Well, I can't wait to see that. And your your set tonight starts at 9:40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 9:40 until we're done playing. So. If you hope you guys, hope you have a good time tonight. Give it up for Corey Taylor, everybody.